Hello everyone, my name is Ferris Feren, and welcome back to Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. Last time we uh, spoke with some suspicious people, um, I gave them some voices, um, all the good stuff. We talked with our supervisor, um, we're on the first case. Yeah, can't wait to see more. This is a lovely game. Simple, but really effective and good. Well, wow, let's just check it out. Without further ado, let's go back into Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. And we're back in here. So, let me actually check. We have two more characters, I believe. This one. Ah! Stop right there! Huh? Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I want. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They are very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry, I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's oh, because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one sp specific... Sp I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. The cave. Do you know anything about the cave? Huh? What? No! I'm not even sure it's a cave. Just look at the pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess... You will just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Mm. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Just be careful. The shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha 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 ha! You fool! Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Just be careful. I think that's all I have to say right now. I'll come back later. Okay, interesting, interesting person. I thought he's a detective. And who are you? Wah! Who are you? I didn't mean to stall you. I'm the frog detective, here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess. Just to look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else in the island except for me and Finley. I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who is Finley? Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Got a question for me. Um, dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. 
Okay. Got a questions for me? I mean, <laughs> Martin, that's what a competition is about. <laughs> Who is Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who is that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She will probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I will be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? <sighs> Got a question for me? About the noises. Can you tell me about the noises and where they are coming from? I'm not exactly sure mm, where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect the spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And, get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all here. Got a question for me? Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kinda annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all of them. Ah, uh, mm, sorry. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure you will get the bottom of things. I'm sure we will get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? I'll make more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark. Just the conclusion to this tale. Hmm. Sorry, if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't think for sure. Oh. Uh. Let's try a visu visualization exercise. What's a vis- Ooh, a exorcism. <laughs> it's a thing where we pretend, imagine, you're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, and then out. It is save a beach. Save a beach? <laughs> what beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. And we visualize, visualize that we are on a road trip instead. But the ghost is on the road trip. Very point. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love it. Oh. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. No ghosts on a road trip? Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. Mm. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks, so much detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as a thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Ooh, wait, how did you just break that off? Wow. That's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? Yeah, I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? No. But... No questions for the time being. No problemo. So we have gold, we have... If we get... No. Um, the wool. I don't know how I uh, supposed to do this. Can I talk with him? Yeah. 
I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. I forgot your voice. I'm sorry, Noodle. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, Detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Who? And I got the wool. Ah, oh, he's brushing. No, he's not. He's just happy. Right, Noodle? You're happy? Yeah, Noodle, you're happy. Okay, so if we find out the dance moves... Questions, yes. What do you like to know? Dance styles. Hey, so, um, you, um... Huh? You like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh... I like dancing a lot, that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like... Uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance styles do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed. That I would be, want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. So and then we can use the monkey, monkey, the monkey fact to uh, talk with Mr. Mo here. I remember your voice it wasn't as bad. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Hey, I talked to Mr. Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mr. Monkey say? Does Mr. Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I did mention you. Who? Mr. Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. You got a mouse wash, mouth wash, mouth wash. Are you breakdancing now? Huh? Oh, he's actually. Mm. Watch these moves. One two, one two, one two. Mm. One two, one two, one two. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he actually. You keep doing that. You're not. You're now a ghost. You're now a breakdancing ghost scientist. So, I still have a magnet, which means I can talk to you. Oh, you had that scary voice. I always worth questioning. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. And it's a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I will give you the big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Okay, now it makes more, more sense now. Well, does it make more sense, but... I can just talk to you now. Always asking questions. Ask me questions. Just be careful. Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want that shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now. 
that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Nice, nice, nice. We do so much nice progress. Okay, okay. We have... Oh, you... I want to say pigeon, it's a duck. <laughs> so we have a mouse, we have a pigeon, we have a sloth. We have a koala. We have a monkey. Oh, we have them all. Okay, so you want the magnifying glass and you give me the pasta. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? I don't remember your voice, so sorry if the voices are just jumping around. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Oh, interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. Oh, this is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Wink wink. Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Oh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is saturated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word it. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Now I need to give... Mr. Crocodile. Or Mrs. Crocodile. I forgot your voice. Your voice was interesting one. Um, I have questions. No. Take it away, D-Dag. Oh, yeah. Mouthwash? I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing. Thanks. I'm able to use your toothpaste. I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Dag. I, I feel like they always sound the same, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. That's supposed to be a spider. Okay, now we can create the dynamite. Larry, I forgot your voice as well. More questions? Ask them. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, babe. Imagine he creates like this huge chunk of dynamite now. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh, he just froze it. Like, he could have placed it or something, but... He just legit. He just threw it. So we go right into the cave. Oh, this is kind of scary. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it's her practicing her dance. Oh, hi. Hmm? Who are you? Are you a ghost? 
Ha ha ha. What? I don't think so. Are you sure? Um, yeah. That's great. You're not wrong. So, um, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. <gasps> oh, howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. <gasps> I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. <gasps> yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez. Like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Ha <laughs> ha. Nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You have been dancing for two weeks straight? Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. You should try them. Mmm, gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Mmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it would sound super warped too. You know, you have been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Ha <laughs> ha. Really? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Ha <laughs> ha. Then I would actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. How is that funny? <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Ah, uh, Finley. Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Uh, two weeks to be exact. Huh? Wait a minute. As it turns out... Uh, <clears throat> As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finlay in the cave, all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface, and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost box... It was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show, you should never trust books. I always use the internet instead. Oh, I don't know about that. Ah, yeah. Books are without exception. Factually inaccurate. Yep. So they all agree on that. Oh, who are you? Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I love it. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. I agree with that, Grace. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources, and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 
such informative break. Oh yeah, that's correct. Check your sources. Keep them in mind. Always check them. Never be lazy with them. Alright, let's continue. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time. Yep. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo, the mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I knew a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noise were coming from. Larry, is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I will give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. Are they all gonna dance now? Am I having a dance competition? Oh! Let's dance! Detective is going in though, look at Detective! And he knows some moves. He's not just a detective, he's a dancer by nature. Damn. I c oh, look, look, look at Bernie doing his sick breakdance over there. They all have some moves. Alright. So. A short game, but what an amazing short game. Uh, I love the humor. I love the art style. Oh. Okay, I think we have practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who is judging? I judge. I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, doing the robot. Oh. Oh, Larry's going in. Oh, he has some moves. Well, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Monkey, go, 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 go. <laughs> look at Bernie. Ooh, Martin! Man, he may be scared of ghosts, but he knows how to dance. And this is just such a grace. <laughs> what you judging? Why are you dancing, Mr. Detective? have to pick the winner. Who could that be? Mm, let's think about this. Hmm. This is a tough one. I mean, Martin went in. So graceful though. That dance was just. Mm, I mean, you tried, but. Hey, Martin. You blew me away. Let's go. Martin did some amazing moves right there. This is like Bayonne. This is. Oh! D 
Such a wholesome game. And good music. And simple. Simple. Simple but effective. Some more? Oh, there's more a little bit later. Ah, uh, our dance competition. Who took the, the photo though? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you bust a groove at the dance competition. Yeah. Where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? No. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. He's now the best detective. The detective will return in... The case of the invisible wizard. Now that sounds like a nice case. I'm intrigued. I'm so intrigued. Frogdetective.net Answered the call. What else is there? And that's it. That was it with Frog Detective 1, The Haunted Island. Wow. You know, this is amazing. This was amazing. It was a short experience, but it was an amazing experience. It was super simple, but hey, simplicity is it's the key nowadays. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, some, sometimes complexity is really nice as well, but... Nice music, all good, nice characters. I mean, I butchered them with my voice acting, or if you could even call that acting. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this series, like... Frog Detective, so far, good game, good game, good game, and there's more of them, so I will check it out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video, stream, whatever I do next. But until then, fair is fair and out. See you all around, have a nice one, bye.